Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Ellie and we've got Sean. And don't just stay there with we cream buns. Come on, let's get moving. Giddy up. Giddy up, Percy. Oh, come on, Percy. <laughs> Oh, you've got a frisky one there, Sean, haven't you? Come on, Percy! Me! Well, we've got Ellie and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Mickey John with Rebecca. Hello there. Mickey John. <laughs> Hey, this looks exciting. What are you playing at? I know. It's knights from the olden days riding home to their castle. How wonderful. Let's dress God up as a knight in shining armour. I am the brave knight Sir Mickey of Riversea Fingal. Would you care to walk with me to the comfy part of the castle, my lady? Oh, it would be an honour, Sir Mickey. Oh, oh. At your service, my lady. Too kind. <laughs> Do you know, I'm glad you made me think of knights in armour. I'm going to take Rebecca to the castle later to see what we can see. We're having a knights and castles day at school today. My old friend Professor Lumpton's coming to talk to the children. He knows everything there is to know about the days of old. Do you know how the knights got on their horses? Well, I just imagine they grabbed hold of the reins and climbed on. No, the armour was so heavy, they had a big thing like a crane that would lift them up, swing them round and put them down on the horse. Huh. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm the teacher and you know more about knights and castles than I do. Oh, it's surprising what you know when you think about it. <laughs> oh, look at Claude. Oh, Claude, you look like a knight in shining armour. Oh, I leave you to guard the castle, Claude, while I go off to battle. Well, school, actually. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. Now, this little fella's called a jester. Did you know that? And he used to live in a castle. Did you know that? Did he really? I must get Professor Lumpton to tell me all about jesters when he comes to school. Brave knights, fair ladies, farewell. <laughs> <laughs> now remember, it's surprising what you know when you think about it. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. You keep a wee eye on Mickey John, make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today, walking my shoes through the city views, stepping along and swinging my arms, singing my way through the city's charts, getting there is just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, right, to the school I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple. Hello, walls. Hello, people. It's on his way to work today. Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! OK, that way. Up! You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thank you for getting me to work on time. Oh, yes. What's next? Oh, that's right. I have to put my tie on. Dressed and ready to go. Oh, hey. 
So, Mr. Jester, who's coming to visit us today? Professor Lumpton, to talk about knights and castles. I'm here. Oh, you're early, Professor. Professor? No, it's me, Raymond. Don't you remember? I said I'd bring over this box of costumes for the children to wear in the school play. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> thanks for bringing him round. So who's this Professor, then? Oh, Professor Lumpton. He's an old friend of mine. He's coming to talk to the children about how people used to live in castles in the old days. Castles, eh? Mm. Oh, well, there's a costume in here that might interest you. It's a jester costume, like this little fella's wearing. Every castle had a jester, you know. They didn't have television or computer games in those days, so the jester's job was to entertain the kings and queens and knights and ladies. Ah, oh, so that's what a jester did? Yes. He'd tell jokes and make everyone laugh. Sometimes he'd sing funny songs. Sometimes he'd be an acrobat. <laughs> oh, he must have been a pretty clever fellow. He had to be, because if he didn't make the king laugh, he'd be chucked out the castle. Oh, poor jester. I know. Anyway, I better get back to work. So I hope the professor's talk goes well. Thanks for bringing the costumes round. See ya. Hey. <laughs> Gosh, I've learned a lot today and school hasn't even started yet. <laughs> I hope you're having fun, Rebecca. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Here we go. Oh, Rebecca. You look just like a princess in a castle. <laughs> Whoops! This hat looks a bit like an upside-down ice cream cone, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> just like I was telling your daddy earlier on. That's better. Oh, beautiful. Are you working hard, daddy? Mickey John. Hello, Tina. I've just popped in to see what time you want me to collect your Professor Lumpton from the train station. Oh, yes. Well, he's arriving at the station at one o'clock. Now, can you bring him straight here? Because he's going to tell the children all about knights and castles. Oh, knights and castles? Oh, well, then, shouldn't he be arriving on a horse rather than in a taxi? Why on a horse? Well, in the olden days, if you wanted to get anywhere, you had to either walk or ride on a horse. Oh, oh. Here comes my class. Oh, well, I'll leave you to it then. I'll see you after lunch. Bye. Right. Let's get down to some hard work. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I teach in. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. To count and teach him to read, learn about birds and plants and seeds, playing games and sports outdoors, blowing my whistle and keeping a score. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. We're learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. Oh, the secretary's smiling now, she does her organizing. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. In a dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew, answering the questions where and why, how does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. He's learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. All the children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Joy when I go to school in the morning. Hi there. Oh, hi, Dr. Juno. What can I do for you? I was speaking to Tina earlier on. She said that Professor Lumpton was coming to speak to your children this afternoon. He certainly is. Do you know him? Oh, yeah. He used to teach at my university. He's brilliant. I wondered whether I could come and listen as well. Of course you can. Oh, thank you. Do you know, he always used to make castle life sound so interesting. But they were never really comfortable places to live. They were all cold and drafty, and they never had any carpets. They had stone floors with bits of straw thrown down. Brrr, I wouldn't fancy that. Well, I'll let Professor Lumpton tell you all about it later on. Now, oh, Tina's picking him up at the station at one o'clock. Oh, well, I'll see you then. Thanks again. I wonder if Rebecca and Granny Murray are at the castle yet. <laughs> Mr. 
there's a soldier. He's green hat. Is he over there? Keeping the castle safe. <gasps> Rebecca, your daddy would love it here, wouldn't he? What's it like at your school, Daddy? Is he here yet? Oh, not yet, but any minute. Get yourself settled in at the back. We're going to be in for an interesting afternoon. Ooh, I'm so excited! Me too! <laughs> ah, Tina, you made it. Well done. Uh, Mickey John? Where's Professor Lumpton? He's not coming. What? What? I'm sorry to bring bad news, but the professor missed his train and has left a message at the station to say that he won't be able to make it today. Oh, no. This is a disaster. I've been talking about Professor Lumpton all day and everyone was so looking forward to him coming. Now the children have no one to tell them about knights and castles and they'll be back from lunch any minute. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca at Granny Murray's. I told her about Professor Lumpton coming to talk to the children about knights and castles. Granny Murray knew a lot about knights and castles too. At eight o'clock, I got to school and Raymond arrived with a box of costumes for the school play. He showed me a jester's costume and told me all about what jesters used to do. At nine o'clock, Tina popped in. She wanted to know what time to fetch Professor Lumpton from the station and she said he should really travel by horse, just like people did in the old days. Then the children arrived and we started our day. At 12 o'clock, it was lunchtime. Dr Juno came to ask if she could hear Professor Lumpton talk to the children. She remembered lots of things he said about castle life. At 1 o'clock, Dr Juno came back for the talk. We were so excited. And then Tina arrived with some very bad news. The professor had missed his train. So now there's no one to talk to the children. Now remember, it's surprising what you know when you think about it. It's surprising what you know when you think about it. So, what do I know? Well, Granny Murray told me about knights. Raymond told me about jesters. Tina told me about how people travelled. And Dr Juno told me what it was like to live in a castle. So there's loads I know I can tell the children. I'll have to make it really interesting, though. You, you can, can do it, Mickey John. John! Yeah, but it's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it I gotta do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. So, what do I know, hearty ones? Well, I know that living in a castle looked a bit like this. And we also know that knights used to put on their heavy armor and fight their fierce battles. And I know that if you ever wanted to go anywhere, you had to go on a horse. We know that castles weren't warm and they weren't comfy, but the lords and ladies always had a jester to keep them laughing. And jesters knew a song or two. Sir Richard was a knight of old who drove a horse and cart, but when his horse forgot his oats, his cart would never start. His mother said, that rickety thing, go chuck it in the ditch. But Dickie said, no, mother dear, this cart will make us rich. One day he drove it past the king to show his cart with pride. The king then hailed and stopped him and jumped in for the ride. He said, I think I want one, now here's a bag of gold. So Dickie said, your majesty, to you this cart is sold. Oh, well done, Mickey John, that was brilliant. Oh, yes, you made castles and knights sound just as exciting as Professor Lumpton did. Mm, thanks. I never knew I knew so much. <laughs> well, my day's gone better than I'd hoped. I hope you're having a good day, Rebecca. <laughs> Please sit on a horse. Not 
quite a night in shining armour, but he keeps us safe all the same. Oh, we'll have to be heading home soon, Rebecca. Your dad will be coming to fetch you, won't he? What are you, Daddy? Mickey John, come away. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Yes. Oh, you bet we have, eh? Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying it's surprising what you know when you think about it. Save the day. Well, I never did. Come on now, you'd better be off. Eh? Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a knight in armour, because Mickey John told us about his professor friend who knew all about knights and castles. We dressed up too, to look like ladies from the olden days. Rebecca looked like a princess. Later on, I took Rebecca to look at the castle. We saw a policeman on a horse. He was like a knight, but without the armour. The castle was fantastic, and we wondered what it would be like to live in one. And while we were wondering, Mickey John was telling his class exactly what it was like to live in one. When he thought about it, he was surprised at how much he knew. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. I love to sip in river tingle, river tingle, I love to sip in river tingle, river tingle, that's for me. Come on and get on down to the city. Where the fairy box stands the blue Time to call on Granny Mom